What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Slightly Warped Podcast. We a little, we a little more than slightly warped today. I'm Rick. That's we Big way show. warped. <laughs> How you doing, show? I am blessed. Too blessed to be stressed. How about yourself? Same, same. Uh, but my team stresses me out. And we will get to the NFL in a minute. We just want to let all you Game of Thrones fans know that we have forgot about you guys. We are going to do more Game of Thrones. We're just going to expand it a little, though, because we really want to get into this. Next week, we are going to wrap up Season 7. But as a special treat for you guys, thanks to Big Show, because this comes from the mind of Big Show, we're going to really dive deep into that eighth and final season. We're going to go through all eight episodes, one each week, until we get to the end of it. And you're going to hear our thoughts about every little detail. And uh, talking with Big Show before the show, he's got a lot of interesting tidbits, especially when you uh, compare and contrast the show to the books. So yes. be ready for that. Kicking it off next week. Now, back to the source of my discomfort, besides my kidney stone, that would be the Las Vegas Raiders and the rest of the NFL. Um, before we talk about the games, I might as well get the crying part out of the way. How uh, bad was it last week? Bro, you went 4-10. and ten, <laughs> And I, I didn't do much better. I went 7-7. Seven and seven. Um... The Falcons won. You picked the Bucks. The Vikings won. You went with the Jets. Which, that was a sexy pick up until, you know, 11 a.m. this morning. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know why you went with the Panthers. I forgot what your logic was on that, but the Bears did pull that one out. Uh, you went with the Bengals over the Ravens. Uh, another one that could go either way. And it almost Bengals should have won that game. Almost, Bengals yeah. should have won that game. Yeah. Uh, we both went with New England, and Miami just happened to get one more field goal. Uh, you won the Jags. I went with the Colts. You went with the Texans. I went with the Bills. What was I thinking? Uh, we both went with Las Vegas. Enough said. Uh, we went with the 49ers. The Cardinals made us think differently. The midget is playing at a high level. Um, we went with the Packers. Yay, we got something right. Uh, we went with the Seahawks. Who thought the Giants were going to, you know, put 29 points on the board and actually win? Right. We went with Pittsburgh. Dallas eked it out. Damn you, Dallas. We both went with Washington. Thank you, Commanders, for actually being good this year. We have something to hang our hats on. And... Uh, I went with KC. You were just going with the Saints because you were looking for the upset. It didn't happen. It wasn't even that close. Uh, yeah, no, nah, it, it, won it wasn't close at all. Um, That's all right. We'll get to the picks here good, in a little bit. Good thing but, our picks are only for fun. Yeah. Um. My goodness. Uh, we were stinking up the joint. What game stands out to you? Uh, this past week as a really good game and what game st stood out to you as my god they put this on tv the my god they put this on tv would probably be that jets minnesota game just because it was so i mean minnesota was waxing that butt until third fourth quarter i mean it just was pathetic um which may be why Ro but, robert sala is no longer with the team um, but I think that, um, you know, there was a couple of good games. That Bills-Houston game was a pretty good game, and so was the Ravens-Bengals game. Uh, I really paid attention to those. Uh, those, And then, you know, the Dallas-Pittsburgh game was all right, but it just started so late that I didn't watch it all. Yeah, that rain delay did not help that. But you're right. That Bengals-Ravens game, oh, the back and forth. At first, I thought – Cincinnati was going to run away with it. And then Baltimore got back in it, and it went back and forth, back and forth. And and I thought Lamar was going to piss it away with, with the, when he dropped that ball. Um, but he should have. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 
it was it was a it was a heavyweight fight uh division game they know each other very well um but yeah i i thought that cincinnati would pull it off but they're one in four and who cares uh a i cool know it's still stat, early though, in the season oh go ahead a cool stat about that dallas pittsburgh game is uh because it it ran into past midnight Mm-hmm. Said that uh, Dak Prescott is the only NFL team to throw two interceptions on two different days in the same game. Wow, not something I'd want to hang my hat on, but hey, go Dak, whatever. I works. thought that was a funny stat. Yes. Um. The uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's go back to them real quick. My question was: Okay, can they salvage their season? Um, I know we get ready to go into week six. Is it too late? You still got 11 weeks to go, 12 weeks to go, actually. So I'm going to do this. Let's let me. Um, I want to look at standings and see the AFC here. Um, so here are your division leaders right now mm-hmm. Kansas City would be the number one seed, Houston would be the number two. Then you have the New York Jets. I'm sorry. You have the Buffalo Bills on top of their division at three and two. Mm-hmm. And you have the Baltimore Raisin, Raisins. The Baltimore <laughs> Raisins. The Baltimore Ravens on top of their team is three and two. So there's your four spots. Uh, contenders, Jets at two and three. Steelers at three and two. Indianapolis at two and three. Denver at three and two. Uh, Chargers are two and two, them being one and four. It, it looks like, unless the wheels fall off of some other teams, that they are probably going to miss the playoffs. Because there are, let's see here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are 12 teams with better records in the AFC than them right now. And that's wow. every team in the AFC West, including your Raiders. Yeah, I'm I'm disgusted by them. Um But then let's look at their schedule. Let's just see let's just see who they got um coming up here. Okay. Uh but a bit of I want your schedule. Can I have your schedule? Give me. Give me, give me schedule. So what? We're in week what six? Yeah, this is week six right now. So these are their games at the Giants, at the Browns. Well, probably winnable games. Okay. Uh, home against Philly. Home against Las Vegas. At Baltimore, at the Chargers. Their bye week is in week 12. Home against the Steelers, at the Cowboys. Home against the Titans. Home against the Browns. Home against the Broncos. In the season at Pittsburgh. Yeah, I don't see them being able to get out. With that, with just looking at that schedule, I mean, maybe one... Two, three, four, maybe three or four more wins, maybe just looking at that schedule. Yeah, now I know that they have a history of starting off very slow, and I think it's finally going to bite them in the butt. Yeah, but their history is being 0 and 2 and then going on a run. They've never been 1 and 4 under Burroughs' leadership. And I also think that that team is in a little bit of disarray. Um, you know, they 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 drunk their own Kool Aid, so to speak. Um, and you know, they they lost to Kansas City, and it's like their whole all the air went out of their balloon. Is how they really acted since then, in my in my opinion. Yeah, that is a tale of two teams, especially in that same division. Because it looked that same way for Baltimore, but they got it back together. 
Yeah, Baltimore's not that much. I mean, let's see. Baltimore, Molly, Wapped, Dallas. Other than that, every game, every team had that they played, the, the scores have been close. Yeah. Like their defense is really bad. So that's going to come back and bite them in, in the derriere too, I think. I, 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 I'm not afraid of Baltimore. They'll probably win the division. Depending on how you know how Pittsburgh regroups, but um, I'm not afraid of Baltimore. As a Chiefs fan in the AFC, is there a team that you worry about? I'm always going to worry about Buffalo just because of the history. Um, but they are wide receiverless. They are like we were last year. The difference is, is that. Josh Allen doesn't have the same mindset as Patrick Mahomes did. Patrick, and maybe it's coaching as well, uh, Andy Reid leading him down that path. But, you know, Patrick was checked down Charlie last year. And and a lot of our problems, too, last year were drops. You know, we I think we led the league in drops. Um, I mean, no. I mean, let me just, no. There's not a team in the AFC that scares me. Um, but it's going to be the usual. I think Baltimore, we'll see them again. We'll probably see Buffalo again. What I mean, I'm Houston? more afraid. I can't, I, they don't scare me yet. They haven't really, they haven't dominated a team. Like, I mean, didn't they lose to the Colts last week or week before last? Uh, yeah, I think they did. I mean, so it's just like, Come on now. I mean, until somebody runs on our defense, actually runs the ball and is successful at it, I'm not going to be worried at all. AFC wise. Okay. You I'm glad you said AFC wise because my second question will be like, who who do you look at with the side eye in the NFC in case both teams meet in the Super Bowl? Man, I think Detroit would be a scary matchup. I think Minnesota would be a scary matchup. Um, I think I'm not worried about San Francisco. I mean, I hope that they, I hope that we win and they make it there because every time we play them, we win a Super Bowl. So I'm okay with that. Um, you know, Philly's not going to be there. Washington is a dark horse for me. Um, they they seem like a team that could catch fire. They have a lot of good pieces in place. Uh, and that quarterback, you know, nobody knows how to stop him stop him yet. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Those um, are kind of like the teams that, that I would probably, you know, just be looking from a distance. I admire Washington because, A, their offensive coordinator, and B, their quarterback. And both of them should have been in Vegas this year. If Tom Telesco had just – Given him the three-year contract that he wanted, we would have Cliff Kingsbury as our offensive coordinator. And we all know that he wanted Jaden Daniels. He goes to Washington, he still gets Jaden Daniels. Look what they are doing yeah. in Washington. Right, but but you guys wouldn't have got Jaden Daniels because you wouldn't have been that high up to pick him. I don't know. Somebody would have put something in somebody's ear and said, hey, trade up, get this kid. Uh, sometimes I think the Raiders play it too safe. I really do. I think that that's wishful thinking on your part. It, it might be. It might be. I, I don't, you wouldn't. I don't think you would have had a shot. And and Cliff Kingsbury, um, I mean, let's look. What did he do with Arizona? He was the head coach there. Like, what did he do? But you know what? As, as a coordinator, though, I, I respect him more than a coach because he puts together really good schemes and good offenses. If if you look at what Washington is doing, even in what their losses, won? they're competitive. What has he won? Well, I, I, I see where you're going with that, but I'm just saying if you compare him to Luke Getze, just to Luke Getze, it's night and day. Yeah, he's... I, I would agree because I, I don't I've never heard of Luke Getze until this year. So I completely understand. He was the offensive I mean, coordinator with the Bears. They suck. Cliff King 
Cliff King. Yeah, but they sucked at quarterback too. I mean, they had they their whole organization sucked. That's why they let Justin Fields go and 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 they had the number one draft choice. They drafted Caleb Williams. Yeah, I mean that's obviously they suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, let's Cliff Kingberry had you know was the coach at uh, Texas Tech when Mahomes was there. So I mean, he coached Mahomes in college. He's got that that type of air raid mentality. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. I, the, Washington, I'm keep they're they're a dark horse. I'm not I'm not crowning them yet. Um, but this this week should be a pretty good test for them. So we'll see. Yeah. Speaking of this week and and Raven, I mean in the Raiders, man, until you guys get a quarterback. I, I agree with you on the quarterback, but I also believe we need an offense coordinator because I don't care who's under center. If we don't run a good scheme. Stop with the run up the gut for two yards twice in a row before you decide to throw. Stop it. But but I, I understand your frustration as a fan perspective. Mm-hmm. But if you do not have the players on the board to run your scheme, you are you are stuck with two two yards in a cloud of dust mentality. Yeah. You don't know what gets would be if he had a decent quarterback because he hasn't had one. And we know Minshew and what's the other guy's name? O'Connell. O'Connell. They're not it. I don't blame O'Connell. O'Connell we drafted as a backup, period. You knew what you were getting with him. We True, thought at the not, time that Garoppolo was going to be the starter. I'm not so. blaming either one of those quarterbacks. They are who they are. Yeah, I'm blaming the coaching staff and the front office. Now, you guys keep on sucking this year. I can see Shadour Sanders in a Raiders uniform next year. I can see that too, and that would be a pretty cool, a pretty cool uh, matchup. I mean, that would yeah. be a pretty neat little little deal for you. So, but you know, I mean, there are there the are Raiders some things are going to do what the Raiders are going to do, and they're going to mess around and win those games that they shouldn't, and blow those games that they should. And then we're going to be somewhere in the mid level come draft day again. And I mean, it depends on what you guys get for Devontae. Ah, that is true. Uh, I, I forgot about that situation because we had a coach get fired in New, New York and we had a quarterback go down in New Orleans. So that thing is wide open. Yeah, I think the Saints are kind of out of it because I just read that. Uh... Carr is going to be out several weeks with that oblique injury. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, the Jets are still going to be on the table just because of Rodgers. So, who clearly runs that team, I guess. So, um, maybe I mean, we don't really know what happened. I mean, it was a long flight back from London. He could have, he could have mouthed off to the owner. True, very true. I mean, the way the way they treated him. I mean, if you got to have security escort you. Mm. that's all i'm gonna say about that but that just tells me that that management was afraid of him Mm -hmm. back to the Devontae adams sweepstakes you say buffalo needs a receiver does buffalo have any draft capital that they'd like to give up that i'm not sure um i i just heard on the radio that they were a dark horse in the race uh but buffalo Probably not just because cap wise, they might have the draft capital, but they don't have the cap money because they're still basically paying Stefan Diggs's contract. Yeah. And I read that it would be a similar situation in uh, Vegas. Although Davis has a history of not wanting to do that. We could eat some of Devonte's contract. If some team was willing to give us a higher draft pick. Yeah, I don't see Vegas. I think Vegas is going to trade him straight up with the salary. That's that's what makes it so intriguing on who can take him and who can't. Yeah. Um, I mean, because the Chiefs could do it, but they only have $5 million under the cap. And granted, I know Chiefs that the Raiders probably... Uh, right. 
Uh, well, unless they were, re, you know, were able to restructure some deal with with him and, you know, no, we're going to pay you five million and the next year you get 40 or whatever. But um, I don't I'm, see. I mean, I the, believe the Raiders wouldn't do it. 44 next year if he's under contract. Yeah. 44 is a big number. Ginormous. Yeah. I mean, one million is a big number to people like me, but, you know. Whoever takes that, they're going to have to be really creative. Brett Veach is very creative when it comes to the salary cap. I don't yeah, see I that happening that... because we are not going to give one of the best players in the league to the Kansas City Chiefs. It's just not going to happen. But is he one of the best players in the league? He, he Even now, in his advanced age, he's good enough. To, uh, but is he? Because if he doesn't get his way, he he has a cancerous attitude. So, is he? You know, I I'm glad you brought that part up too because prior to last year, that was never his mo. But you could see it seeping in last year, and you could definitely see it this year. Isn't this his third year with the Raven or with the Raiders? Yes, but he had he had uh, Derek Carr that first year. The so, first you know. year, though, is when it started. Because if you remember, the Chief, the Raiders at the Chiefs game, the dude was fighting with the with the, with the Arrowhead crowd. Yeah, yeah. You know his his attitude. He's a diva. He's him and Aaron Rodgers are the perfect marriage just because they're they're two peas in a pod. Then I say send him off to New York, get what you can get. Mm. And you know, and, and then New York is big enough for the both of them. But I would really like to see him go to New York for the simple reason I know the Jets are gonna stink up the joint this season. So we're gonna get a decent draft pick. I mean, I don't know. You say you know they're gonna stink up the joint. Their whole division blows ass. That's true. That's true. I mean, you got who you got? The Dolphins, you got the Bills, the Patriots, and, and the Patriots. I mean, come on now. I yeah, mean, you, you theoretically, can go, you can go nine week, and nine and eight and win that division. Right. I mean, this week the Jets play the Bills on Monday night. If they win, they're in first place. Wow, that is hard. You're right. That's hard to think about. We're going to get to that, too, because uh, we want to get to the picks. And we want to do better than 4-10 uh, and 10 and 7-7 seven and seven this year, this week. So I'm a, I'm... I took a lot of gambles last week. I'm going I'm to come back to earth to this right. week. Reel it on in, Big Show, because Thursday night, the 49ers are at the Seahawks. <sighs> um, I I'm going to go with the Seahawks on this one. Um, the Seahawks got beat by the Giants. And yes, the Niners got beat by the Cardinals, but it took a last second field goal to do so. Uh, man, I know starting off with a tough one. I'm going to go San Francisco. All right. I think that I think they they need it in the in the division race. Sunday we got another London game. London's favorite, the Jaguars, are at the Bears. I think on this one I am going to go with Chicago. Okay, I'm going to go with the Jags. Um, they seem to do pretty well in London, and. They can do even in their losses. They can put up some a decent amount of points. So I, I think it'll be close, but I think they'll edge out Chicago. And then our regular scheduled games on Sunday, the uh, Cardinals are at the Packers. Packers. I think I'm going to go with the Pack as well. Uh, the Colts are at the Titans. I want to go with the Colts on this one. 
Um, yeah, I'm with you. Colts. The Texans are at the Patriots. You already know I'm going with the Texans. Houston all the way. Tampa Bay is at New Orleans with, uh, I think Bryce, what's his name, is going to be playing quarterback for the Saints. Bryce, I forget his name. I'm going with Tampa. Uh, I am as well. Here's the stink bowl. The Cleveland Browns are at the Philadelphia A Eagles. I'm just going with the Eagles simply because it's the home game, and you know my philosophy. When it's too tough for me to pick, I'm going with the home team. I am going to agree and go with Philly. Uh, our, 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 this one's going to be a score fest, I think. The Washington Commanders at the Baltimore Ravens. Battle of the Beltway. I'm going to go with the uh, Ravens. I'm going to go Washington. Okay. Um, the Chargers are at the Broncos. I'm going to go with the Chargers simply because they had a bye week already, so uh, they've had an extra week to prepare for the Broncos. Yeah, you might be right on that one, but I don't think so. I'm going with Denver. Oh, okay. Uh, Steelers are at the Raiders. Wow. Wow. This hurts. This really hurts. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Yeah, I'm also going with Pittsburgh. And I will say this. If the Raiders pull this out, I'm going with the other team the rest of the way out, even if I take L's, because that might uh, mean that they win some games. All right. Detroit at Dallas. This is going to be a good one. And I'm going with Detroit. My heart does tell me Detroit. Yeah, I'm. I'm. <laughs> yep. Just I'm gonna go with my gut, Detroit. Okay. Atlanta at Carolina. I'm going with the Falcons. Man, I really like the Panthers at home for some reason. I really do. Um, especially keep, if keep in mind if you got burned rifle. by them. You got burned by them this past. Yeah, year. but that's Chicago. I mean. You're right. Atlanta. All right. The Cincinnati Bengals at the Giants. Somebody has to win this game by default. Or it could end in a tie, I guess. I, I'm, I'm, going I'm, with I'm going with the Bengals. Their back's against the wall. They got to. They got to. If they don't win this game, their season's over. Period. Over. No shot. And yeah, they know it. I, by looking at their schedule and seeing winnable games, this was one of them. So, yeah, I am going to say Cincinnati. All right. We have uh, Buffalo is at the Jets. Now, this is that game you mentioned earlier. Yes. I, I'm still going to go with Buffalo. Because I just don't think that, you know, I, the Jets have the horses for this. And I think the Bills are in a similar situation as the Bengals. They need a win. No, nah, they're three and two. They don't need it like that. Um, I'm going to go with the Jets because normally when you do a firing and a interim, that very next game, players play out of their minds for whoever that interim head coach is. And I think that will be the deciding factor in this game as long as Aaron Rodgers stays healthy. Okay. 
Uh, so, now that being the yes. Monday night game, we won't know until Monday night uh, which one of us uh, uh, prevails. It looks like we have one, uh, two, three, um, four, five different uh, games picked. So this could go really good for one of us or horribly wrong what? for one of us. What five did we pick different? Uh, you've got oh, the Chargers. 49ers. I've got the Seahawks. Oh, okay. Uh, you've got the Broncos. I got the Chargers. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the Jets. I've got the Bills. Mm -hmm. You have the Commanders. I have the Ravens. That's four. What's the fifth one? Did I mention Bears and Jaguars? No. You have the Bears. I have the, I have the Jags. Okay. Yeah, so um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, somebody's luck has got to go up <laughs> this week. I hope. Um, I think I think both of our luck will go up a little bit if we can just you know have put together a string of uh, more wins than losses. That that would be good. I'd take that. Yes. Yes. All right, real quick before we get out of here, I want everybody in your comfort of your own home or listening on your automobile, uh, whether you're on the podcast feed of choice or you're watching us on YouTube, leave us a like in whatever format you're on. And uh, if you can, drop us a line. Let us know how you like the show. Uh, let us know if there's anything that you want us to talk about in future episodes. Yes, sir. Big show. Any parting thoughts before we get out of here? Uh, nothing, uh, nothing new except, you know, I always like to tell you guys to, uh, take that PTO because you never know when you're going to die. So you want to be sure to enjoy that vacation. Um, but yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell on YouTube. So you can know when my man posts our videos, we do appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys joining us uh, weekly. Just to hear us rant and rave about stupid subjects. Um, they really don't matter, but we just get to have fun and talk about it. Hey, there you go. And uh, yeah, appreciate you. Um, love your loved ones. Tomorrow's not promise. See you hey, next man. week. All right, you guys take care. Stay positive. Stay blessed. Stay blessed.